Our planet Earth is constantly changing, but it's changing faster and in more ways than ever before. Human-induced climate change is being experienced on a global, national, and even local level. Climate change was known by a different term for quite some time, global warming. While this does reflect the fact that global average temperature is rising, the term does not encompass all of the changes that we are experiencing as a result of this increase. Many parts of the planet will experience higher than usual temperatures or longer, more frequent and more severe heat waves. Some areas may have extreme low temperatures, while others, like New England, may experience increasing numbers of both high and low temperature days. But why are the regional climates changing so drastically? Let's find out. Global average temperature is increasing at an alarming rate across the planet. This is due to the increased levels of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. Our atmosphere helps trap heat from the sun, but a certain amount radiates back into space. As levels of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere increase, more heat is trapped by our atmosphere and less radiates back into space, increasing global average temperature. The Earth is already over one degree Celsius warmer than it was before the late 1800s. While this one degree increase may not seem like much, it affects most places on Earth in incredibly different and extreme ways. Several areas will experience more high temperature events, like heat waves. These heat waves are becoming more frequent and more intense across much of the planet. Other places may experience more extreme low temperatures, like cold waves. When polar ice melts, it can change ocean circulation which may cause regional cooling in some areas and greater warming in others. Changes happen high in the atmosphere too. The Arctic polar vortex is a strong band of winds just higher in Earth's atmosphere than where commercial airplanes fly. The polar vortex is normally confined to the North Pole and surrounding areas. But recently, it's been disrupted. The polar vortex disruption affects the polar jet stream, a belt of powerful winds in the lowest part of the atmosphere. As the polar vortex is disrupted, it pushes the polar jet stream further south, bringing colder temperatures to places that are closer to the equator. Many factors can contribute to disruptions in the polar vortex, making it a complicated issue for scientists to study. As they gather more information and data, scientists will have a more comprehensive understanding of exactly why these changes are occurring. Scientists can use remote sensing to gather data about the current climate and track changes as they happen. Remote sensing is the science of scanning the Earth from a distance using technology like satellites and high-flying airplanes. This information and imaging gathered from satellites such as NASA's Aqua has provided scientists with data that they need to understand how changing conditions can affect extreme temperature events across the planet. Scientists can use this information to predict future changes. Scientists can also use this information from remote sensing to inspire the creation of new technology, like electric cars, which can reduce our CO2 emissions and help slow down the rapid climate change. Humans are incredibly inventive, and armed with scientific information, we can develop and utilize strategies for helping our planet Earth.